I used to do karate when I was a teenager. 33 years later, I took it up again. And I went, whoa, I used to love this stuff. I think what's really great about karate is it's a defensive move, is the first move. That's in my mind quite a bit. And so in smart buildings, we need to be defensive around solutions so that there is incredible value for our customers. The One Albert Key building was built to be the smartest building in all of Ireland. Every eight to 12 weeks, there are new innovations being piloted. So it really is an experimental sandbox. This uh, Emerald card reader from the AC2000, with a simple swipe through, and we're in. The smart building universe is a really interesting one. The building becomes a demonstrator to our customers of here's what you can do with all our different products and systems as they mesh together in a building, and how you connect all these things, how you make the building more efficient, how you make it better for people to work in. All of these things result from this investment in technology. The, the trick is how do we go from there to here? We wanted to make this a living laboratory of how technology is moving. We get to play with what could you offer? That's completely new. The bigger message here in One Albert Key are the innovations. The Schindler lift, it's an energy regenerating lift. So when you swipe to get through to the lift core, it selects a lift to take you to your destination. It calls me a lift. It simply grouped people who are on the same floor into the same lift cores. With one person, that's almost trivial, but if 250 people are trying to access the lift core all in one time, it works surprisingly well. It's called dynamic control ventilation, so you dynamically manage your ventilation of condition there based on your knowledge about the occupancy. Big holy grail, in, in my humble opinion, would be occupancy. What we're working on is trying to figure out how we commercialize data, and lots of it. The other thing you'll notice on the lift core and the ceiling here is I think that we call shopper track. We're trying to measure the flow of traffic in and out of your space. They're not using the lift. So there's an energy cost avoidance by using the stairs. Those people are also healthier. Our primary focus here is us tracking of people and assets in real time. Uh, we have the camera feed, as you can see, uh, feeding in here. One of the major problems that firefighters have is finding their way around uh, buildings. And um, with this technology, you can actually communicate with someone and say, OK, take three steps this way. You can see it's incredibly accurate. Uh, so we have solutions that and we're at the forefront of this technology. We get to speak with um, a lot more customers who have some really interesting conundrums that they want us to solve. We're probably the only company that has the array of products, the amount of customer connectivity, and we can bring expertise to their door. So the building in front of us is the City Hall, and we work very closely with them around smart cities. It almost was like a public project as we were building the building. The global population is going to continue to grow and they are, most of those people are going to live in cities. So if we can make buildings as smart and efficient and environmentally friendly as possible, then by default you're starting to make cities better. I think you can see that it's a pretty exciting space and people are energised, they come in to work in Johnson Controls. It's about humanising the solutions and it's all about people.